So most people who've seen my work here at the Groveman would think about larger oil pastels, larger paintings, and I've done several shows um, where the pieces were anywhere from from 30 by 60 to 40 by 60, but this show is, is generally small um, because I wanted to learn really how to uh, conceive of a small painting. Um, I've done some somewhat larger than this. Um, this is 11 by 14, but really getting down to 8 by 10s um, and even 8 by 8s. That it's it's a lot harder than than you would think because you have to have the right equipment and the brushes and sort of the mentality to paint a big space on a small you know I'm trying to capture a large vista but on a small surface and so uh, mentally it's just a matter of um, uh, narrowing my focus to that one piece. And there are some challenges, like in, in this piece, um, well, both of these pieces, uh, I wanted to highlight something in the composition. And so what that meant was simplifying certain areas like the background trees in both cases. I've really just painted in very quickly. Um, that's not to say I didn't think about really going in and refining and, and picking out some trees from that background, but then I thought, that would really take away from the activity in the foreground with the, the fishermen and, and the canoes. And um, I was talking to Susan Horn just a, a little bit ago, and she commented on how unusual the composition was to have a strong element on the left side, and how do you counteract that? And I think you do that with stronger movement on this side, um, reflections, logs, activity going through the middle of the piece that comes towards you eventually. So that offsets the stronger compositional element on the side. And so there are a lot of considerations like that when you're doing a painting. Um, in, in my mind, a painting is uh, partially uh, a pictorial representation, um, but I'm not trying to be photorealistic. Uh, I, I want a painting that stands on its own, something that you'd be interested in looking at if you're standing in front of it. Um, you can see brush marks up close, but when you go back from it, it coalesces into an image that almost could look like a photograph if it were painted just a little tighter. So uh, my goal is really to make a painting, uh, not a representation of, of a place. <laughs>